ah, Florida, the land of sunshine, alligators, and surprise measles parties. Yes, you heard it right, folks, measles decided to crash the sunshine state like an uninvited guest at Disney World. It all started at Manatee Bay Elementary School because, well, where else would drama unfold? Two weeks ago, measles barged in, adding a bit of zest to the usual routine of algebra and spelling tests. Since then, it's been spreading faster than gossip at a retirement home bingo night. We've now got nine confirmed cases in Broward County, which is quite the achievement considering we were aiming for a record low in infectious diseases this year. Out of these nine, seven are proudly linked to the school, two are holding their own in the same county, and one adventurous soul caught the measles bug in another county while on vacation. Ah, the joys of travel. Now, hold on to your hats for the shocking reveal, two of these infected individuals are children. Yes, innocent little tykes, who probably thought their biggest worry of the day would be choosing between a red or blue popsicle. One of them is even under the ripe old age of five. That's barely out of the diaper stage. But wait, there's more confusion than a Floridian during a sudden snowfall. We're not entirely sure if these two new cases are even related to the school outbreak. It's like playing detective, but instead of a cool mystery novel, we're dealing with an infectious disease plot twist. And who's in the hot seat for this fiasco? None other than the Florida Surgeon General, Joseph Ladapo. He's been getting quite the eyebrow raises for his handling of the situation. While federal and medical professionals are screaming stay at home, Ladapo seems to be taking a more laid-back approach, letting parents decide whether they want to send their precious offspring back to the potential infection zone or not. Who needs expert advice when you have parental intuition, right? But hold on to your sun hats, folks, because there's a political bombshell in this measles saga. Rumor has it that if Trump wins the next election, he's planning to play a high-stakes game. What's the deal? Well, he's threatening to cut off funding for schools that dare to require kids to be vaccinated. Yes, you heard it right. It's like a political game of chicken, but instead of dodging cars, we're dodging vaccines. So now, not only do we have a measles outbreak on our hands, but we also have the looming threat of financial chaos for schools that prioritize public health. It's like, who wants to be a millionaire? But instead of winning big bucks, you get to gamble with the health of our future generations. Welcome to Florida, where the sunshine is as unpredictable as the political climate. Who needs science and logic when you have political posturing and infectious diseases? It's all just part of the circus we call democracy. So buckle up, folks, because this roller coaster of absurdity is far from over. And let's just stick with health care just for a second. Florida again. Florida, they are now contending with a super worrying outbreak of measles. Measles, like it's the 1800s or something. One of the most transmissible pathogens on Earth. And one we don't typically have to worry about anymore in this country because for 60 freaking years, we've had a totally effective vaccine against measles. Except in Florida, Republicans picked a very special state surgeon general who's now telling Florida parents, oh, who am I to suggest that perhaps kids should be vaccinated against measles? Yesterday, the Florida Department of Health released a letter from Surgeon General Dr. Joseph Latipo emphasizing how contagious measles is, but did not urge parents to vaccinate their children. Uh, he does not, uh, which is an interesting letter from a Surgeon General. Beyond who am I to say your kids should be vaccinated, the hand-picked, hand-Republican-picked Florida Surgeon General wouldn't even say that kids with measles should stay home from school while they're infectious and symptomatic with one of the most transmissible, potentially fatal pathogens known to mankind. Measles in Florida. Not to be outdone, now the Republican Party's leading presidential candidate is saying on the stump that he will withhold funding, withhold all funding, not a penny, from any school anywhere in America if kids have to be vaccinated to come to school. Kids have to be vaccinated all over the country, everywhere, against measles and mumps and polio. I mean, it's been, it's been true for decades. It's been true for generations. But just in case you've been missing, I don't know, iron lungs, the Republican Party is raring to go this election year with a new measles and polio for all the kids plan.
And while, you know, what swing state busy mom and dad isn't going to want to get the whole family to lick that doorknob and vote GOP this November with that kind of platform on offer to the American people? Can we get a smallpox over here? How about some tetanus for the little ones? Whooping cough like it's going out of style.